Hello, good morning, friends. I greet this video to answer a question that one of my students asked me. He designed a building according to him. He tried to create a porch, but he did not understand how to handle the wall when it comes to a porch. So what he did was that he tried to, he goes to the 3D view based on his explanation. I'm trying to guess based on his explanation and go to the opening panel and use the opening wall command. When you select the command, Revit asks you to select a wall. So I'm going to select this wall. I'm just trying to follow what he was explaining and draw the opening that you want to create. You see, you see the opening in 3D view. But according to him, when it comes to the floor plan, you don't see the opening. But for mine, I see the opening in the floor plan. I can even edit the opening in the floor plan. Now, this approach might help some situation, but I think this is not the right way. I'm going to undo, I'm going to show you another method that you can use when you find yourself in a situation where you want to create a porch or veranda. This is the living room, room, porch, porch. Now, if you select this wall, this wall cross the porch and the living. So you need to separate them, separate them, divide them into two. We are the wall that divide the port and the living intersect the external wall. Go to the modify tab and modify panel and select the spl split element tool. You can type SL on your keyboard and split this wall into two. Do the same thing for this wall, this wall, this wall. Press escape twice. Now, if you select this wall, you see this wall is separate from this one. If you select this wall, this wall is separate from this one. Select this wall. So now we're going to use a command name constraint. You have the base constraint, you have the top constraint. This command can be used, both of them can be used at a wall, or one of them can be used on a wall. In this situation, we are going to use the base constraint. The top constraint can be used when you have a dwarf wall, a wall that cannot reach at the top top level. We'll talk about that top constraint on another tutorial. On this tutorial, we are going to focus on the base constraint. Now, if I select this wall and this wall, because this area is a porch, and change the base offset, you look at the total height of this wall is 4,000 millimeter. That is 4 millimeter. So we want our beam to be on approximately 500 millimeter, 0.5 meter. We need to change the base of to 3,500. Now look at this, before I change the value, look at on constraint here, it says 4,000. Then the base constraint is zero. Now if I change this to 3,500 millimeter and move my mouse cursor away, you see a warning. This warning is tells you that if you accept this constraint, the room are not properly enclosed. When you create a room on Revit, the room command try to locate all the boundary, the four boundary that the four or more boundary that circumference the room. Now, if you click OK, you create the the, the porch. You already create the impression of the porch, but there is some more work to do. But before we go into that. I want you to look at this on constraint. It's now 500 instead of the 4,000 previously that you have on that on constraint. Then look at this area. When you look at this area, it appears as if nothing is here. Now, if you select the room, the room has no boundaries. There are so many ways to try to work around on the situation. Now, you have a command name room separator. Go to the architectural tab area panel and select the room separator command. What this command is do is that it acts as a wall, as a wall boundary in Revit. I'm going to click where the, these two walls are meet and move it down and click, press escape, start from this corner and click, press escape. Now you see the room is already unclosed without a wall. I'm going to use the trim extend to corner to trim this wall. Okay, that's one can handle the boundary of the rooms. 
but it cannot take care of the display to get a good finish on the floor plan. Go to the annotate tab, then detail panel and select the detail line. And the detail line have so many options to draw the detail line, then they have so many type of detail line. The default one is thin line. I'm going to click the down arrow and select the medium line. In the draw panel, use the line option and start a line from this point. Move it down just as when you are drawing the, the room separator and click. Press escape once. Click on this area and move the mouse cursor. Press escape one. Now go to the modify panel. Select the trim extend to corner. Trim this line to this line, press escape. Go to the modify panel again and select the offset command. Change the offset distance to 50 millimeter. Offset this inside and this inside. Now I'll use the trim extent to clean this corner. Clean this and this one. This is how you create a porch wall in floor plan. Now if you go to the 3D elevation, you see the opening. This half of the wall, the part, the top part of the wall will act as the beam and the bottom part, you will have, have a better view if this um, building has a floor plan. Let me add a floor plan and foundation so that you can see it more clearly. Go to the architectural tab and select the floor command. Now Make sure that the pick wall option is selected and extend into wall in bracket to core is checked. Pick this wall, this wall, and this wall, and this wall. Now use the trim extend corner in the modified panel and select this sketch line and this line to extend it into this corner. Select this sketch line and this line. Press the check mark box to finish your wall. Go to the default 3D view. You see now you see the floor. The floor is so thick that what we use this for demonstration. So you can add a column here if you want. So this is the one of the best way to create a porch in Revit. If you find this tutorial useful, please like and share it to your friend. If you want to watch more tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. I'm going to create the link of this file that way, you will complete the back porch as a practice. Use this back porch as a practice. I'm already split this wall into two. I'm going to delete it. I want it. I want you to do it for yourself. You see, when I delete the wall, you see the error that Revit gave me. I'm going to delete this one. Then use the trim extend to corner. I want you to split it for yourself. I'm going to give you the link of this tutorial. All right. Thanks very much for watching.